with the fabulous Alfie. We've got Kiana here and Kamika. We are absolutely salivating at the smell of these katush. They smell delicious. Thank you Mouth very much. watering. We got to see Alfie make it and it was a really fun process. The beautiful thing about eating at Kutush is that you get the theater of the food. You get to see it being made fresh, hot, delicious, the whole process. And uh, I must say it was actually really enjoyable to watch. Did you girls enjoy watching it? Oh, yeah. Yes, it was fantastic. So tell us everything oh, about all these delicious things we're about to eat, Alfie. So mm. um, here we have a lot of um, cakes and also the three kirtosh. So on my further side, we have a cinnamon, which is the most basic and popular kirtosh. It we smells also divine. Have the um, Nutella. So you cannot see the Nutella because we put the Nutella inside as a filling. That is such a clever idea because then it's not messy. Yes. You can still correct. use your fingers and it will be fine to eat. That's totally correct. Yes. And on the last one, we also have a pistachio kirtosh, <laughs> um, another famous kirtosh. With the kirtosh, there is a special way for us to eat it. Some people would like to eat it with calories. That's totally fine. But my personal way is to just use our hands. Now we all have clean hands. Now, you can just take out the calories. Can you simply take both ends? Just be careful, it might be a bit hot for you. So just wait a bit and then you can pull it out. Just oh, that's like spectacular. That. Can I have a little go with Kiana? Do you want to grab the other end? Okay, you ready? Oh, look at that. That is so satisfying. Oh, wow. love that. Okay, we'll pop that down. Look at yeah. that. It's delicious. Good. Okay, I'll do it again with Kamika. Okay, you ready? Oh, yummy. Oh, oh you can eat that part. <laughs> No, wait for us! <laughs> okay, all right, so let's all grab it. Now, this is Nutella. I gave you the cinnamon on this side because you said it was your favorite. So everyone grab a little piece. Why don't you try the pistachio? And what would you like to try? You have two options. I think I'll try the cinnamon. Cinnamon? Okay, Can let's grab give that, that one. Kiana? Yeah. Ooh, okay. There you go. Oh, yummy. So you've had these many times. Of course. We haven't eaten them before, so we're really excited. Can't wait. Cheers, everybody. Sorry. Enjoy. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, the crunch. And the texture is so pillowy and it tastes divine. And then the teller inside. Yes, um, so with the caramel outside, you get the um, crunch mm. texture um, with also of the um, toppings. Uh, you'll get more crunch if you get the um, uh, nuts toppings. Mm. And also, it's very soft inside because it's like a bread texture. So that's, really, oh, yeah. that's what's special about Kirtan. It, oh, it's so good. It is so, so delicious. How do you find it, Kamika? I see why it's famous because it's so delicious. So you've got the pistachio adds so much. Oh yeah. Oh look, check this out. Oh, this looks so good. I love how the nuts coat the whole uh, katush and it just feels like it's evenly distributed. I don't like when sometimes it's just in one area. Mm. Oh, as soon as that hit my tongue. Mm. It tastes so good. Mm. It really don't. I never get bored even though I've made this thousands of times. I've, mm. I've eaten this a lot of times. So I'll, I'll just eat it again and again. Mm. I can see why it's so famous. It's definitely really delicious. Now it's quite filling. One katush could feed us all, to be honest. But we wanted to try them all so you could have an idea. And I really love the concept of buying the cake in weight so you don't have to uh, have a huge slab of cake that you may not finish. Now we've got a whole selection here. The katush are really delicious and they're definitely worth coming down to Darling Quarter and trying the fresh, hot, delicious katush. Definitely worth your while. I'd, I'd definitely recommend it. The experience of watching it being cooked as well as just being out here, it's really a beautiful location. We've got trees, we've got birds, we've got a beautiful green grass. Like the Darling Quarter area is just really divine. And Alfie, you have been so wonderful. We can't Thank wait to friend. try the cake. So we have to have a go at everything. So let's start with what would you recommend, Alfie? Yes. So um, we are known for our tiramisu and um, strawberry sponge. Mm. Um, it looks and it sounds very sweet. Bit. It is. Not too sweet, I would say it's very balanced. So I would probably, uh, I would- Your sponge? Yes. And the tiramisu, would, yes. yes. That's correct. I would personally recommend for you to try the um, tiramisu first. Oh, okay, definitely. Look at us, we're still eating the katush. <laughs> it is so delicious, I can't stop, that's the truth. I really oh, I need a little bit more and then we'll move on. You coated the whole thing with sugar. 
was like, oh, I'm not sure it's going to be a little oversweet, but yeah, no, it's that's perfect. Correct. It has a good crunch, nice texture, and yeah, the flavor is amazing. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I agree. It's not too uh, sickly sweet. It's a very pleasant sweetness. Now, something you may not know about the Katush cakes, the Katush recipes are actually their intellectual property, so it's specifically for Katush, and the recipes were handed from a Hungarian family to the Katush brand, and it was gifted to them, and it is just divine, because you're eating high quality, good ingredients, like mama's co cooking, but incredibly decadent and bougie. Okay, tiramisu first girls, grab yourself a little fork, and let's all get a piece. Oh, she's still stealing my kutush. Okay. I think that speaks for itself. We love it. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, let's bit of tiramisu. Try the tiramisu guys. Oh, I like how light it is. It's got a very light texture to it. I can tell already by Ooh. stubbing my fork in. That's now this light. hasn't got any alcohol in it, so that's great. It's also hala too, isn't it? So uh, yes. you can actually enjoy this. No alcohol. Yes. Generally with tiramisu, um, a lot of tiramisu are, are used with alcohol. The cure, yeah, that's yeah. correct. But for this one, we don't put any alcohol in it. We just soak the coffee, um, and therefore there is no alcohol in it. Yeah, that's great. So kids can have this, yeah. and if you don't like to drink alcohol for religious or personal reasons, you can have it too. She can't wait. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Um, mm. It's very soft. It has a lovely texture to it, and it's very it's so light fluffy. and fluffy. Yeah, that's that's how I'll describe it. Light, and fluffy. And taste the chocolate, and it's very light and fluffy. It is. The chocolate is divine, but it's a decadent chocolate. It doesn't taste. I'm not one for milk chocolate, but I do enjoy dark chocolate, and I feel like this is a very sweet, lovely combination of the two because I don't like it to taste too milky, but I do enjoy it to taste decadent. It's yes. just perfect, perfect, right in the middle. Okay. Before we eat the whole thing, what else should we try, Alfie? Yes, so you can try our strawberry sponge cake. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. So our forks have already been dipped. Are you happy to share? You can go on that in if you like. Yep. We don't mind, we're family here, so yeah, that looks so beautiful. Look how deliciously creamy that is. It does, it has such a good smell to it. Okay, you ready? Mmm. The strawberry, you can taste the fresh strawberries. Yes, you get the strawberry jam in it with the um, light oh, texture, with the um, That is good. And also you'll get the fresh strawberry on the top. Now, oh, it's beautiful. Even though it's got a lot of cream, it's not sweet because we don't put a lot of sugar. And it's also perfectly balanced because we put the pistachio on the top. It is very nice. It's not sickly sweet. It's very decadent. You can tell that uh, you're using fresh quality ingredients and that it's baked fresh as well. Yes. You can definitely tell that. And that's the thing here with Katush. Everything is baked in the morning. They don't keep it, uh, any of their pastries and resell them over and over. So you're getting fresh made pastries. Now I'm really excited to try this here. What have we got yeah. here? So here we have a biscuit and cream. Oh yummy. Um, it's biscuit and just cream inside. And also we put cream with chocolate on the top. Okay. Would you like to try it, guys? Yes. Sure. Yeah. Let's try it. Let's go. I'll let Alfie go first. It's my part there. There you go. Oh, that looks yummy. Okay, that's a huge piece. <laughs> okay, we've all got our piece. Let's go. Cheers. This looks amazing. Mmm. I was expecting the biscuit to be quite crunchy, but it's actually very soft and nice. Mm. It's a lovely biscuit. Mm. And what do you call this one here? So this one is a cream cheese brownie. It's another type oh, of cake. Oh, I love brownies. So here we have um, two types of cakes, cold cakes and ambient cakes. So this one here is an ambient cake. So you can just buy it and then leave it outside. It won't be... Um, Any issues. Perfect yeah. for Australia. Yeah. Yeah, so the good. cold cakes are like your tiramisu and the sponge cake as yes, well. So they've got to be right. put in the fridge. There we go. Here we go. Okay, we moved on to the cones. Now we're trying to really walk you through this process, but I've got to be honest, everything's just too delicious. So this was a chocolate, what did you say, Alfie? Hazelnut chocolate crunch. Oh, yum. Okay, I can't wait to try this. It's also off one of mm. our newest menu and tastes so good. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, I'm going oh. to drop it down. Just cut it. No, you got it? Oh, so what's inside? Cake, it's, it's cake, sprinkles and... Chocolate? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What's inside? 
sprinkles, cake, and ice cream cone. Oh, yum. That sounds amazing. Okay, so what is this one over here, um, Alfie? So, that one here is another my, one of my favorite cake. It's called a raspberry cheesecake. Oh, that now, looks decadent. Mm. We have the um, cream cheese on the top and the um, crumble on the uh, bottom part. Would you like to try? Yes, please. Thank no you. No problem. Now, I've... I'm dying to try this because this is actually made the Polish way. So it's not actually made the American way, which is your thick, decadent cheese, like heavy. This is light, still with a decadent flavor, but not with a heaviness. So let's give it a whirl. Mmm. I see why you like it. This actually reminds me of something that uh, my grandma used to make. It's really lovely. Oh. Yeah. It's, mm, it's definitely got an Eastern European taste to it, more so than like an American cheesecake style. You can definitely tell the Eastern European influence. I feel like this is a really good synergy of different parts of Europe. Yes. So we've got the uh, Hungarian Kotosh. Yes. And we have, you know, the delicious tiramisu, which is always famous in Italy. And what are these over here? So here we have a palmier. Yeah, it's another type of pastry. Mm. Um, we coat it with sugar and you can also eat caramelized outside. It's very crunchy. You don't need to eat it while it's warmed up. You can just eat it as it is. Yeah, that's Which great. That's try? perfect for like a lunch or something. I'll break it off with the girls. And I love the little hearts. Yay, hearts. Okay, you ready? Cool. You want to try some? You can just bop, you can bite it. Oh. You can have the big piece. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Very nice. Mm. It's really yummy. This is, I feel like I could eat a lot of these because it, it's sweet but not too sweet, right? Mm. It's really yummy. Mm. Very it nice. Into yeah, it does crumble. All right, I'm dying to try the cookies next. Yes, so now we have uh, two types of cookies. We have the chocolate fudge cookie and the peanut butter fudge cookie. My personal favorite is the chocolate fudge cookie, but the peanut butter is also another go. Wow, that looks amazing. Okay, everyone knows who've watched Beyond Expectations that I'm a huge cookie fan. Uh, cookies are my jam. So it's been 13 years since the making of Beyond Expectations and I'm still a cookie fan and I still love them. So. I am well versed in cookies to tell you how these taste. So you just bite it like a sandwich? Yep. Okay. Mm. I must do so good. Don't judge me. How is it, Elle? <laughs> Amazing. It's very nice, yeah? Oh, the peanut butter inside. It tastes yes. like a, a Reese's Pieces, but a very bougie Reese's Pieces. I'm actually interested to try. Do you want to try? Yeah. Okay. We're stealing all the cookies. I'm going to steal this one too, Alfie. I hope you don't mind. Yeah. <gasps> chocolate. So that one is chocolate. Look at that. Chocolate sam a chocolate cookie sandwich delight. Um, mm. oh, I can see a lot of chocolate on your lips. <laughs> mm, thank you. It's so soft and the cookie is just cooked to perfection. I don't like a cookie that's too crunchy or too soft. This is perfect. I like Goldilocks with a cookie. Not too crunchy and not too soft. Just right. And you actually bake your cookies fresh on site as well? Yes. So with the cookies and the palmier, oh. we always bake it fresh on the store every day. Mm. Um, the cookies, the reason why it's not too soft, not too crunchy is because we are trying to make it fudgy. That's why we call it chocolate fudge cookie. Ah, yes. It's fudgy. It's exactly that. That's a perfect texture. Mm. Now, we haven't tried this one yet. Have we? Have we tried that one? I uh, know. Oh, good. What's this one? I'm so, so excited. That one is a brownie, but with cream cheese in it. So um, it's a cream cheese brownie. Oh, it's very yes. different with the other brownie that we've seen in um, Sydney. I'm dying it's to try. Nice. Cream try. cheese brownie. Now these have got all the good stuff. Chocolate, cheese, um, crunch. Mm, it's very smooth and sweet. Yes. Very nice. Everything here at Katush is absolutely delicious. Very decadent, high quality ingredients. Beautiful service. We've loved having you here, Alfie. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for joining us. Thank you so much for talking about all your delicious treats here. The Katush is such an experience. I loved watching it being cooked. I love the whole process, the theater of the food. Now, the wonderful thing about Katush is it's open late. It's open 365 days of the year. Wow. So you can come here anytime, cake till late. 
Uh, you can be here any day of the week and this location here is absolutely gorgeous. If you're not able to make it to the Darling Quarter, it's location which is definitely worth your time i suggest that you check out one of their other 10 franchises and grab yourself a cookie for me but definitely you've got to order the katush the tiramisu was pretty good too what about you girls what would you recommend delicious i love the um, cheesecake the cheesecake is kamikas and what about you kiana um the katush is definitely the katush and I think also these little ice cream cones my girls have always been a big fan of those and the fact that it's made with cake is awesome thank you so much thank you we so really much, appreciate Elle. you and thank you so much for joining us okay all right bye bye, bye, -bye. hello and welcome to the fabulous yayoi Japanese restaurant here in Haymarket, which is in Sydney. Now, Yayoi actually have 600 locations worldwide. They have six locations in Sydney. You should definitely head on to their website or their Instagram, check them out and find out where they are if you're interested in enjoying some of this delicious food. Now, we're very excited because the girls and I love Japanese food. We've had to photograph everything, film everything, and we've been dying to try everything. So. Kamika, I'm going to let you have first pick today. What would you like to try? Salmon. The salmon. salmon yes, the salmon don. Now we have some delicious eel here. We have such an array, such a spread, and we're really excited. So salmon it is. We're going to try that first. We'll let you have first, first try. So we've got our chopsticks, which are disposable and recyclable. So that's important. Oh yes, they look really nice. Would you like to take a piece? Yes, please. All right, I'll take a piece and after you. Looks really yummy and delicious. You ready? Ready? Mmm. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Really nice, high quality salmon. I really enjoy Japanese food. So I think I'm highly qualified for the job. It's cut to perfection and it's really good quality. That's a wonderful thing about living in Australia. We have really good high quality seafood here. Now I'm getting awfully distracted by all the delicious things on offer. This delicious beef here is a very popular dish and I think we should try that next. And it has a really nice texture and it also has a, a thinness so let's give that a whirl and see how we go you ready oh that tastes yummy mm. what i love about japanese food and particularly yayoi is they have such nice flavorsome delicious coated food but it's not to the point where it's over sourced or over salty it's sourced to perfection in my opinion what do you think girls Amazing. It has a lot of flavour. Yes, it's nice and it has a lot of flavour, definitely. Yummy. Okay, what do we want to try next? We're still eating the salmon because it is lovely. Now, I am a huge fan of eel. It's one of my favourite dishes. Please excuse me, I'll take a little drink. This is one of the lovely little lychee drinks they have here. Mm. That tastes divine. If you love lychee or fruit drinks, and uh, you're into fresh juices, definitely give that a whirl. Okay, so what I love about this is there's four ways that you can eat it, and it even comes with a little instruction guide. So you can eat it as it is, you can turn it into a soup with a broth, you can eat it with condiments, you can take parts of it out and create it your own individual soup, you can eat it with the rice, it's really fun. It's like a choose your own adventure for food and I love that. I really love how Yayoi serve up all their dishes. We couldn't keep all the trays here today because there wasn't enough room on the table, but they all come in these gorgeous little trays and they have a section for soup. There's often spices, there's condiments to add. I really love the egg here, which you can pop on into the soup. That's really fun. Or you can put it on the rice or you can have it with your vegetables. The options are endless. Is good as well. Yeah, the sides, I really love that. Uh, especially with 
the quality of the food. It's really lovely to have things that you can pick and choose. So I'm going to try some of the eel because this is my favorite thing to eat. When I'm eating Japanese food, I love eel. So let me tell you, you're getting my first real reaction now. Mm. Amazing, perfectly flavored very nicely cooked mm. delicious the eel is absolutely divine it's really good their delicious beef which is their signature dish called sukiyaki is absolutely divine very well cooked not overly cooked not undercooked cooked to perfection now i'm really excited to try the noodles here oh looks gorgeous would you like some? Yes. Help yourself. Oh, and I love mushrooms. I'm a big fan of mushrooms. Me too. You want to try some? Mm -hmm. Looks so good. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, eggy goodness. Why don't you grab, do you want me to help you with the noodles? Here. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you have some of mine? Thank you. Take some meat as well. First reaction. Yeah, how is it? Nice. Absolutely delicious. Mm. The texture and flavor is amazing. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, I'll try some of the uh, beef here. Ready? Mm. Very high quality, very well cooked. Lovely texture, lovely taste. Really nice. There's nothing that I don't enjoy here. It's very yummy. Now I'm going to have a try of the soup. And I always love a miso soup. Mm. I'm going to try the katsu. Katsu? Full of flavor. Definitely enjoy that. I think I'll have a bit more. It's very tasty. Might use my little spoon. The other thing that I really appreciate is all the ingredients taste very fresh. Mmm, very nice. I'm really enjoying the beef and the noodles are delicious as well. I'm going to have some tofu. Now, Japanese style tofu is always the best. It's my absolute favorite. And they already cook it in such a delicious way. It's beautifully crispy on the outside, but moist on the inside. So let's try it because it looks very promising. So good, really lovely. If you like tofu, you'll enjoy this. And if you don't, you must give it a try. I guarantee after you had it, you'll be convinced that tofu is a good option. Oh, sure. Would you like me to get it for you? Yes. Now I'm going to try the eel and make it with the broth. So you get, sorry, I don't want to reach over you. You have the little bowl here and I'm going to get some spices. They have the instructions. I think I'll just pop it in to save time. And some pickles as well. That looks good, doesn't it? And then we'll have a little bit of the eel. Yummy, yummy and some broth. So there's the broth. Okay. Yep. Oh, we have veggies. Let's pop some veggies in. How about that? And then we'll add the broth. This is so fun. Oh, wow. It even has a little pouring kettle. Oh, that's even better. Hooray. So you can turn it into a soup. Or you can just drink the broth as a clear soup if you prefer. But this looks so tasty. Okay, I can't wait to try this. Look at that, we love soup. Pretty much we enjoy everything Japanese food. And Yayoi cooks it in a superb way. It's very tasty. Mmm. Really nice, full of flavor. The broth is full of flavor and the vegetables are very nicely seasoned. Do you girls want to try some of the soup? Here you are, you can just use your spoon if you like. 
You can go first. Thank you. Nice. The broth is really good. It is, isn't it? Would you like to try a little bit? Yes, please. Very tasty. This is delicious. This is really fun. I really enjoy this. It's such a fun little setup. And I really love how you have all the different options. And these vegetables are cooked so well. They have a lot of flavor and texture. They've got a nice crunch. And I like the sesame seeds. It's a nice addition. Mmm, really good. What I absolutely love is how everything comes in such cute little sets and you can mix and match. You can have things with rice, you can have things with soup. You have so many different options and it's completely fine. So you can use this as a rice dish or you can have it as a soup, whatever you prefer. Yeah, so you can just give that a whirl. Mm. Mm. Really yummy. So this tofu has a really nice crispy texture and the tofu here is very soft and moist. So this is soft and moist on the inside with a crispy uh, outer side and this is soft and moist all the way through. And both are delicious because this is in sauce. The egg is also cooked deliciously and I love how the egg is added to the soup and it just adds more flavour. Now I would have to say, what do you think of all the things you've tried today? Oh, they were amazing. Absolutely fabulous. Amazing. Absolutely delicious. Definitely recommend coming here. Yes, definitely. Yayoi is definitely on our top list for delicious, delicious food. Now we just had the delicious meal here at Yayoi. Now we're going to try their fabulous desserts. I love matcha. It's probably one of my favorite desserts when it comes to Japanese flavored desserts. Kamika is a huge fan of mochi. mochi. Mochi is really yummy. Now if you haven't had it before, it has a really soft texture and usually a soft uh, center would you say yeah it does they're really yummy you must try them they're almost like a Japanese marshmallow but way more flavorsome what are you most excited to try I'm excited to try the mochi me too I love much ice cream this is really exciting for us I also love red bean now they have a delicious little red bean sauce here that you can pour on the ice cream so I'm going to do that now and just pour it on oh yummy okay so we're going to try can we try a little bit of ice cream first? So let's do that. Would you like to try some? There you go. And you girls can try a little bit. Mm, it looks really good. Matcha is like a green tea. It's very nice and it's very sweet. Ready? Mmm. Mmm. I really enjoy red bean sauce drizzled on top. It just adds that extra flavor. Matcha is a really tasty ice cream. It's fresh and crispy in flavor. Really delicious. Really love the red bean on the side. You like it? I can see. You do. How do you find it? It's delicious. And how about you, Kamika? Amazing. Amazing, isn't it? Mm. Oh, the red bean is really good. It's really high quality. It's very high quality green tea matcha ice cream. Very high quality. Very nice. Okay, are we ready to try the moochie? Mm -hmm. Okay, so pop these down. Now with the moochies, you can eat it with your hands. So maybe we can all pick one. Now this is sesame seed. Now there is a name for this in Japanese, which means white, but I'm not going to attempt to say it because I think I'll do a very bad job. And this one was called? Uh, Sakura. Sakura, okay. So I think I'm going to choose the sesame seed. I really love it. And you can see the texture. It's really soft and very, very tasty. You want to use your fingers? I think fingers, come on, let's go. You need fingers, otherwise you pull it apart. You ready? Cheers, it. there we go. This is a very high quality moochie. It's filled with red beans 
and sesame seed. It's very soft to the touch and it tastes delicious. How do you enjoy yours? Very tasty. It's really good and it has a nice texture to it. Yeah, very flavoursome. Now everything that we've eaten here at Yayoi has been divine, absolutely delicious. We definitely recommend it. If you love Japanese food, you're going to love Yayoi. If you've never tried Japanese food before, definitely give it a whirl. They have some exquisite dishes. There's something for everybody. The matcha ice cream is gorgeous. We really love the Mochi. There's over 600 locations worldwide, so you'll definitely be able to find something. I do believe there's some in the USA as well, and quite a lot throughout Asia. And there's six locations here in Sydney, Australia. So definitely head on over to their website, follow them along on Instagram, and we hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, bye-bye. Pancakes on the Rocks, which is a delicious pancake restaurant here in Sydney, Australia. They do serve delicious ribs, you can also get crepes. There's an array of yummy treats on the menu. We've gone for their classic pancakes with a twist. We have the regular stack here, the banana rama, the Nutella pancakes, and Devil's Food which looks like a chocolate lover's heaven. We have a delicious chocolate milkshake here with whipped cream. We have a creaming soda and a mango slushy. We are so excited to try them. What can you, or what can I, oh, I want everything at once. I feel like a child at a candy store. Now, I absolutely love Nutella. I love bananas. I love the regular stack and this chocolate heaven which is called devil's food looks amazing okay so what should we try first girls let's do the regular stack first okay so we're all going to have a little taste and try it what I might do is just cut some like so so we can all get a piece and Kiana do you want to grab a piece make sure your sleeve doesn't go in there so the regular stack comes with syrup and ice cream and there's four pancakes. This is huge, these pancakes are huge. There's only us girls here, and this is a lot of food. Oh, Kimika straight in. Ready, let's go. Mm. I love pancakes. Oh, and look at the quality of them. They're soft and fluffy. They have a really nice texture. Mm. The syrup is nice too, all right really nice do you like that girls yeah. since we had regular stack maybe we should move on and go along this way because this looks like the really rich one so let's go with banana rama next and banana rama comes with two ultra thick pancakes and these pancakes are like dinner plates okay ready mm. Mm. oh the banana rama is really nice so the banana rama is very similar to the regular stack but with a banana flavor so if you love bananas, this is definitely for you. Mm. Really yummy. It has ice cream as well and it comes with a delicious sauce on top. Okay, so are you ready for the Nutella? All right, so I'll cut a piece for both of you. So there you go, Kamika, you can go first. And then Kiana, you can go second. Oh wow, look at that Nutella. It's just oozing off. Ooh, yum, oh, look at that. Okay, Nutella is a really delicious hazelnut treat that we have in Australia. You ready? Mmm. So good. Love it. Oh, yummy. All right, now Devil's Food, the big, it's, coming, it's becoming a bit of a puddle because the ice cream's melting. So I'm gonna cut that, really yummy. If you love Nutella, you're going to love those pancakes. Okay, you ready? All right, so grab yourself a piece, Kiana, this time. It's a bit hard, because there's quite a lot of ice cream. And Kamika? Okay, you ready? Oh, ultra rich. Very rich, isn't it? 
very yummy though. It's actually still very light. The pancake's nice and soft and fluffy. Mmm, really yummy. Absolutely delicious. So, which one would you say is your favourite? Um, um, probably the classic stack. The classic stack? What about you, Kamika? Banana Rama. Banana Rama. Okay, so for me, I really enjoy the Nutella because I'm a huge fan of Nutella. Classic stack is really yummy to eat and it's a great value because you get four pan pancakes. Banana rum was delicious as well. If you're a chocolate lover, you're going to love this. Now let's try the drinks. So I have a creaming soda and you have mango slushy and a chocolate milkshake. Cheers, girls. Cheers. Oh, yummy. I used to always love having creaming soda as a child. It's like a sort of raspberry strawberry flavored drink with ice cream and it's quite yummy mm. you want to have a try yeah. i'll try some of your chocolate milkshake oh look at the cream mm. delicious you want to try some and mango okay that's good wow, wow that's sweet very chocolatey very chocolatey this is really yummy too they're all very nice so if you like chocolate I would definitely recommend the chocolate milkshake. If you want to taste something nice and pretty, then the mango slushy is for you. Yep. It has this nice tropical flavor to it. Yeah, it's very tropical. It tastes like pink lemonade. Pink lemonade. Kamika is a big fan of pink lemonade. Pancakes on the rocks, you have done an outstanding job. These pancakes are all super delicious, super yummy. Love them. I really can't pick one. Ah, all really good. Nutella, if I had to choose, I love because it's just beautifully done with the nuts and the Nutella. Really good. Chocolate lovers, you're gonna love this. And Banana Rama, mwah, and Classic Stack, you can't go past. Do head on down to the Darling Square location. Order yourself some delicious pancakes. Get yourself a yummy drink. It's definitely worth it. It's such a huge meal, you could definitely share it with a friend if necessary. But uh, the Darling Square location is beautiful. They do have other locations if that's not convenient to, for you. But definitely head on into Pancakes on the Rocks and treat yourself to some delicious pancakes. Thank you so much. Bye! Toasty Smith with these fantastic toasties, all with egg and lots of delicious fillings. We've got Wayu beef, we've got bacon, we have uh, delicious chicken and prawn. We are so excited to eat these. They smell absolutely divine. And we've also got their signature juice, which is seasoned to fruit. And they have two flavors here. We have two more coming, but we couldn't wait to film. We had to start because we're dying to try. So what would you like to try first? Who wants to go first? Me. Okay, you can go first. You, you want to go first. How about you all try one at once? Everyone choose one they'd like. So bacon, shrimp, a, uh, chicken, sorry, and why you beef. What? I like the shrimp. Sure, shrimp for you. And what would you like, my uh, love? I think I would take the bacon. Bacon? I might try the why you beef. So everyone, cheers. And the toast is really thick and very soft. Very busy here too. Mmm, why you beef is soft and tender. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh. Like mm. things, don't judge us, please. Mm. This is amazing. The wild beef tastes really smoky and quite mm. sweet, a little sweet flavour. The onions are cooked to perfection. The toast is really soft and it's got a nice thickness to it. I really love the thickness of the toast. I don't know if I could go back to normal bread after eating this. What do you think, Kamika? Mm. It's very crispy in the middle, and mm. um, I can definitely taste the prawn and have a big hit of the egg as well. Oh, yummy! And how about you, Kiana? Um, it's really nice. It has a really nice texture to it. The egg and the bread. It's really fluffy, and the bacon mm. has a really nice crunch to it. Mm. And yeah, it just all comes together in a satisfying taste. It's really satisfying. It looks so good. Now I'm going to try the chicken as well. 
Can I try the YUV? Yeah, it's really nice. Actually, I'll to, I'll try your shrimp while we're at, while we're at it. You want to try the chicken? Ah, uh, I was about to try the shrimp. Oh, sorry. You go first then. I said, I'll, I'm too excited. I want to try everything at once. They smell divine. Mm. And ha it's it's so delicious. So it's here in uh, Darling Square. You've definitely got to come and check out Toasty Smith. Really lovely sandwiches. They have a delicious juice bar, which we're about to try as well, which is here. And they have uh, a range of different locations. So do head on over to their website if you'd like to find out more info and follow them along on Instagram as well. Oh, this is amazing. Mm. Mm. So good. Mm. Mm. The so chicken warm. is a bit spicy, but not too spicy. Yeah. I would say medium. Very nice. The lettuce is fresh and crunchy. The salad, just the whole sandwich is just lovely. The whole toast that is divine. Mm. Now, you can't have toasties without some delicious chippies. Oh, yes. I love chips. Mm. Would you like some? Yes, please. Chippy? Mm. Now, they're quite a thick texture. They're not really thin like French fries. In Australia, we'd call these chips. Uh, and we have French fries and then we have wedges, which are thicker. Now I'm going to try the egg and bacon, which is really luscious look how thick that is there these are really good value because you're getting a big meal honestly i feel like i could cut this in half and eat half now half later wow yeah that's huge mm. oh and the baking is amazing. i love the way they cook the egg it's just so nice and creamy yeah. and oh it's really yummy so i've had the I'll yub try. and you want to try the toasty smith the no the, Ooh, it smells really nice it's quite spicy i, I will warn spicy. you is that the shrimp? Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I have a try? Mm. Let's try the shrimp. Mm. Mm. They're all really delicious and you can't go wrong with whatever one you decide. We can't wait to try the juice next. So here we are, we're about to try the delicious juices and sodas from Seasons Fruit, which is a part of the Toasty Smith brand. We've got Joyride, we have 3D, we have... Uma Strawberry Soda and Matisse. Yes, so I'm going to start with 3D because it looks like something I'd like. And what are you trying? Ooh, uh, the strawberry soda. The strawberry soda. And well, how about you, Kiana, what would you like? Uh, I'd like to try Joyride. Joyride. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers everyone. Mm. 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 This is delicious. This has like a cream, a strawberry. It's got a really fruity flavour. Mm. How's yours, Kamika? Delicious, very strawberry and fruity. Strawberry and fruity, just what we like. Well, how about you? Uh, mine has a nice banana taste. It's not too sweet and it's, yeah, it's really nice. You should try this. It's really yummy. I think you'll like it. I'll have a taste of your soda. I really want to try this. Oh, it's got Ooh, a fizzy wow. texture to it. It's quite sweet Ooh. as well. Let this me try Joe. It's rich and sweet. I know, it's very nice. This is really nice. Oh, this is very banana. Oh, I love how it looks too. This has got a really nice banana flavor. It's really yummy. Mm. Come in here, you have to try this. This is something you would definitely fall mm. in love with. You would like this too. It's really creamy and yummy. We share here. We're all family. We oh. don't mind. They're all really yummy. It depends on oh. what you like. This is thicker and creamier. This one's a bit more fizzy. This one has a really ban nice banana flavor to it. I haven't tried this one yet. I'll have a whirl. Mm, this is a really nice fizzy. Oh, yeah, banana. Well, what would I say? Very fizzy. It's very bubbly. summery. When I drink this, I think of sitting by the pool, drinking a nice cool drink. It's really lovely, that one. It's so fresh. It is. Uh, I really like them all. I probably would say this one is uber delicious because I love the thickness of it. Mm. Comes with a big if you wanted a light drink, I would go for more of the sodas. If you want something heavier and creamier, choose Joyride or 3D. These are more like a meal, I would say, because they're very thick in consistency and they've got a lot of uh, fruit and flavor they're and they're very yummy. Shakes. 
great milkshakes, a very good thick milkshake, but this is a very nice light drink if you want something cool and light. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Really nice. Mm. Oh. So Definitely head down to Darling Square, grab yourself a Toasty Smith. Once you're done, pick yourself up either a soda or a delicious juice. Mmm. Here we are at Wing Boys. It's owned by Mike and George. They're mates who've worked in the industry for over 12 years. They've come up with this fantastic concept where they've created their own delicious sauces. They have 12 different sauces that are made in-house every single day. We're at their Darling Square location, which is in Sydney, Australia. They also have a location in Randwick. We're really excited to try these. They look very delicious. So they're all done in their different sauces. Now they have names on them here. So we've got one in Portuguese dry rum. We've got Buffalo. We've got Louisiana, and this one's missing the label, but it looks awfully delicious. It looks like it has some cheese on it. Mac and cheese, potatoes, ooh, potato and gravy, and we've got some lovely looking crispy chips there. Very excited. Now, I do believe buffalo might be spicy, so we're going to give this all a try. So do tell me, girls, what do you think we should try first? I think we should try the Louisiana. The Louisiana, okay, so let's grab our forks. We have a fork each, and let's go for Louisiana. Do you want to grab a piece? So here we are, we have, oh, it looks really tasty. Ready? Mmm, that's nice. Mm, it's got like a barbecue flavor to it. It's got a bit of spice. It's quite tasty. I think Kamika likes it, she's still going. Mmm, really yummy. This has like a Mexican sort of inspiration, if, I, if you will. That's what I taste when I, Eat it. It actually reminds me of some of the dishes I've had in California. It's got a really distinct sort of Mexican flavor to it, in my opinion. Okay, so what do we want to move on to next? Mm. Everything looks amazing. Mac can I try? Can I try? Yeah, I was going to say, can we try the mac and cheese? Oh, really? Look at this mac and cheese. Look how cheesy and we love cheese here. If you've watched Beyond Expectations, you would have seen me saying, What am I thinking? I'm going to compete in a sports modeling competition, all I want to compete in is a cheese eating competition. Mmm, so good. Oh, that's really nice. That is some good mac and cheese. What do you think, Kamika? It's amazing. Kamika's a big cheese lover too. What do you think? Very nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What should we try next, girls? I'm really interested in trying these ones, which are the Portuguese dry rum. Let's do that. So we've got some lemon here, so we're going to squeeze that on. These sauces are really good. You guys have done a great job. Like, oh, she's taking more of the Louisiana. It's a hit. All right, this is called Portuguese dry rum. Now this is huge. This is a big wing, baby. Look at that. Wow. Okay, you ready? Mmm, very nice. You want to try some? Mmm, I like that a lot. Okay. Do you mind if I double yeah. dip? We're family here, we can double dip. Only do this with your loved ones. Here you are. Mm. Mm. Oh wow. That's really nice. I really like that a lot. Mm. It's got some spice to it, but it's very tasty. Very yummy. And this dipping sauce is delicious as well. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. I want to finish this, but I feel like I should show everything before we just eat all the food. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to try some honey soy. Fun fact, I make honey soy chicken wings quite often at home. So let's see how they compare. You ready? Mm. Grab yourself a honey soy chicken wing. Are you ready? Oh, yummy. It's hard. Yeah, you might need to use fingers. Okay. Fingers might be okay. Let's pop our forks down. I can take that for you, my love. Okay, you ready? Oh, Kiana's straight in. Ready? Let's go. Cheers. Mmm. Really yummy. Ooh. It's sweet, but it also has a nice soy flavor to it as well. They're very tasty. 
very, very tasty. Mike, George, you'll have to give me uh, lessons in the kitchen. Mm. Let's try some of these lovely little chips here. They okay. look so good. Oh, I'm look at that. Oh, that looks way. lovely. Mm, ready? Oh, really nice crunch. Tastes delicious, doesn't it? Mmm, yummy. Louisiana gives me Mexican vibes. This is a very nice Portuguese chicken. Honey soy chicken, really lovely. We'll try the buffalo next. Yeah. And Kamika loves the macaroni and cheese. I can see mac and cheese, I can see that. Yeah. Now this is actually potatoes, mashed potatoes with gravy. I'm gonna dip that in. Oh, the gravy is really good. It's very high quality, it tastes nice. Mmm, like that. All right. Um, you want to try? Oh yeah, the potato. Do you want to try some of this? Dip in. Oh, Kiana's doing her own thing. Okay. Now this one doesn't have a label on it, but it looks lovely, and it has like either a cheesy sauce or some sort of creamy sauce. This is really good. Yeah, that is such a good combo. Definitely got to try the chips with the. Woo. You're right. You got it. Okay, you ready? Try this delicious-looking wing. Oh, that's delicious oh, yeah you got it really yummy mm. I really like that one this is really good I can oh. see why you sell a ton of wings that is fabulous the flavor is just gorgeous it's got some spice to it it also has a nice creamy texture as well mmm really like that one nice. all right Let's try buffalo. That's supposed to be extra spicy. You ready? Oh. I'll do no. one wing and we'll bite it together. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, you could be brave. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Bites, ready? Yo, that's not a little bit. Oh, that is spicy. I'm scared. Your <laughs> eyes are watering. That is, that's got a kicker to it. All right, just a little bite. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm scared. Woo! Very tasty, very spicy. Oh my gosh. What a spice, huh? Okay, you ready? Be brave. I love you guys. You are the best woman in the world. No, I know it is spicy. It's very good. You've done a great job with that sauce. Definitely a spicy one. Wing boys, all your wings are absolutely delicious. Mike and George, you've done a fantastic job. Congratulations, guys. Big claps to you. These are really yummy. Now, if you had to pick one, which one would be your favourite? The Louisiana. Louisiana. What about you? Uh, this Portuguese no, por dry rum. Yeah. The Portuguese. I would have to say Portuguese dry rum. This one is also really delicious. Oh, and the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Honey soy. You've beaten me at the honey soy chicken wings competition. So, oh, it's really hard for me to pick. Uh, I think top two would be honey soy and dry rum but they're all very delicious the sauces are very yummy and i can see that you've put a lot of thought and effort and work into what goes into each sauce they do have a unique flavor and they're really worthwhile i hear on wednesdays they have a bottomless all you can eat uh special evening do Ooh. check that out on their website do jump onto their instagram and follow along with them and most importantly come and eat some wing boys thank you so much bye <laughs>
chocolate, chocolate. You can't go wrong with chocolate. How does it taste? Do you want to try the strawberry? And I'm going to try the sun and moon, which looks really lovely. How does it taste? It tastes amazing. Amazing. Once you sip it, you get a mouthful of pearls, so it's hard to talk. Mmm. So good. That is really nice. It has a classic sort of tea taste, and the pearls are mm, really soft. I have a nice, mm, a very nice soft bounce to the pearl. If you enjoy pearl teas, you'll know what I mean. Sometimes the pearls can be a little bit chewy, but these are really perfect. Not too soft and not too chewy. Now I'm going to try the It Takes Two to Mango, which is more of a, a sort of a juice. Yeah, the pearls are the same flavour as your drink. The strawberry drink has strawberry pearls. Isn't that right? And they're pink. And they're pink. I love pink, if you didn't know. This is the taro, which is really lovely too. I'm just like trying all the drinks. The taro is really yummy. I'm a big fan of taro, red bean. It's just delicious. So how are you enjoying your chocolate there? Really delicious. And how about you? Oh, so the little bubble tea is having some too. Bubble Nini makes some really lovely, lovely teas. If you're into pearl teas, definitely check them, out, check them out. If you haven't had pearl teas before, you should try them. They're really yummy. The pearls are so delicious. They're not too sweet and they're not too bitter either. They're just the perfect texture, the perfect sweetness, and they go excellent in a drink. I find that bubble teas have become quite uh, popular nowadays and that's really great to see. And Bubble Nini makes some beautiful drinks because they're all handmade, the pearls are all handmade, the pearls match the flavor of the drink. Now there's a few locations. You can come to the Darling Square, location which is really pretty there's lots of flowers at the front you can take some really nice photos here definitely follow along on their instagram because they post some beautiful pictures head on over to darling square grab yourself a bubble ninny or you can have a look if they've got a location near you and thank you so much for watching we really do enjoy Hello and welcome. Here we are at the fabulous Scoopy store in Parramatta in Sydney, Australia. They have a decadent range of slimes, plushies, squishy toys, all your senses are involved, school supplies. Now Kiana has actually gotten me into slime and I find it super relaxing. It smells delicious and it's really fun to play with. So we have four selections today and we're actually going to be at the Scoopy Slime Making Station. Now they do host birthday parties. You can come in any day of the week and make your own slime, uh, bring in the kids. It's a great activity and they will enjoy it and have a lot of fun. We certainly will enjoy it right now. I'm really excited. I've actually never done this before. Kiana has and so has Kamika. So this is my first time. Now we have here birthday cake, which is a what sort of slime is this, Kiana? Uh, I think it's a butter slime. So we've got a butter slime. And then we have, uh, what's this one called? Candy Cloud Dream, which is a cloud slime. I know that. Uh, and we have Bun Bun Bonanza. Now, Kiana actually has this slime and it's so delicious. I really wanted one for myself. And we have a periwinkle clear blaze slime where you can add whatever you like. We're all going to make a slime each and then together. So you. You would like, was it Periwinkle? Yep. And was it Candy Cloud? And I'm going for Bunny Bonanza. So we'll all get our slimes out. All right, so here's mine. Oh, it feels amazing. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm so, oh, I'm so excited. I literally feel like a five-year-old again. This is so satisfying. Now, this smells like cotton candy bubble gum. It's just deliciously smelling. I just love it. Oh, it smells so good. What does yours smell like, Kiana? It doesn't have much of a scent. So if you're not into something scented, that would be a good option for you. Uh, and what does yours smell like? Cotton. Cotton candy. Okay, so this is like a bubble gummy. Oh no, do you know what it smells like? Marshmallow. Marshmallow, marshmallow and, uh, mm, I would say marshmallow. Let me have a smell. Definitely cotton candy. And can I have a sniff? 
That one's quite, yeah, it's got a neutral scent. It's got a pleasant scent, but it's not overly scented. So that's a good option. Okay, so I'm going to get some things to add in. Now, when you're at the slime station section, you can actually add your own little sprinkles. Now, this is Hello Kitty. These are mini little Hello Kitties, Perfect. which that's is absolutely nice. adorable. So I'm going to add some Hello Kitties in, and then you can squeeze them in, and that gives it more of a crunch. What are you going to add in? Gummy curd? <laughs> Oh, wow, they're gorgeous. They're like little stars. They're so cute. And how about you, Kiana? What are you going to mix uh, in? Probably... Oh, it's quite hard, actually. It's hard to choose? Yes, it's really hard. Uh, probably these ones. Okay, that looks good. They look like little blue circles. So you go and pop those in. And use your little spoon here. I love how they have little spoons. Now there's lots of options. You've got gingerbread, you've got candies, more candies. These are little cows. You've got Hello Kitties. You've got mixed animals with bunnies and cats. Uh, you've got cute little uh, little ice, block, ice blocks, lollipops, ice lollies. You've got stars here, lemons, more candies. And we've got, oh, I love these, retro little peppermint candies, cheese, avocado, cows, flour. What are these? Clouds? Oh, I already said that. A watermelon, some more stars, candies and shapes. So there's lots of options in here and they're very cute. So I'm going to grab some of these little candies now to pop on top. And I'm going to grab some little, I think pink cows. They look cute. There we go. And girls, you grab two more options and then we'll do one together. This is really fun, super relaxing. Look, if you're in your mid forties like me, <laughs> and you feel like you're all grown up now and can't do uh, fun, cool activities because your back hurts or your knee hurts or you simply don't have the time. I always play with a bit of Scoopy Slime while I'm by my computer working and I find it to be really relaxing and it's great for the sensory and it's not sticky. That's the important thing. It's not sticky. It's not stuck on my hands. It's not gooey. You don't have an after texture. It feels really nice. Now, if you play with it often, there's actually a little spray that you can buy. I'll just grab that and you can spray it. It's called an activator and it just keeps it pliable and moving. So that's really cool. Now, we actually have to add, oh, you've added a, quite a lot. You've got gingerbread candies. I love that. That's spectacular. What are you adding? Oh, I and then once you're done, you just roll it up, put it back in its container and you can play with it again. So girls, why don't you pop that away and we can do the birthday cake together, which is so exciting. Now you can find Scoopy Slimes online. You can purchase from there. You can purchase in store. You can find them on Instagram. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. I see why oh. it's called a butter slime. Would you like to get that out? Oh, yes. That looks so satisfying. I'll be more than happy to keep it. Kiana loves slime and it's such a fun process making it, smelling it, playing with it. Oh, it's actually got sprinkles for birthday cake. Hooray. Okay, so everyone decide what they'd like to put in the birthday cake and we can make it together. Hmm, you go first, Kaminka. Uh, maybe the cupcake. Oh, that's perfect. Kiana, how about you? Yeah, that's a good option. I think I might go for the classic peppermint candies. Oh, yes. Okay, you ready? Let's do it together. E squish and squash. One large pot is fantastic because you can actually all have a turn and there's enough for everybody to play which is really exciting we've had so much fun here at the Parramatta Scoopy store it's a really great time for kids teens adults definitely come on down to your local Scoopy store and make yourself some slime if you're unable to pop into a store because there isn't one close to you get something online get it delivered and you can actually buy a whole little pack especially with the birthday cake that we're currently using and you can make your own slime at home it's really fun it's a great activity to do and it's super yummy to smell and very relaxing to play with thanks so much bye